Grant, I think we're about 10 months at this point since your last appearance. I guess uh, the time away was was it necessary, needed, wanted, or have you been frustrated and uh, sitting around waiting to get booked? Hey, I'm always ready to fight, so I don't like to sit around. I want to get in there, get the job done, do it again. So with the time away, were you pushing during that time to get booked, or was there just nothing available? You're waiting for certain matchups? Oh, I'm calling every day, showing up to every fight, making sure that they see my face and know that, hey, the truth is ready to fight. Nice. So has it been kind of challenging to have to sit on the sidelines? Um, I mean, it's always challenging not being able to do your job. I'm sure a lot of people experienced that this these past couple of years, you know, dealing with COVID and everything. So, um, yeah, it sucks not being able to do what you love to do. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say that it's a fun time, but I'm happy to be back. I gained a lot of knowledge. Um, I used the time very wisely. I'm just excited to show it. Very nice. So they come to you with matchup. Like you said, you just, you just need to fight. You'll fight anybody. They give you Carl. Uh, excite you? What did, what did you think about the matchup itself? Uh, I think it's a great matchup. I'm just excited to show what I can do. And uh, I, I know that my team has seen everything and all the work that I've put in. So I'm excited to show the world. Technically, uh, fighting down a little bit in the rankings, which sometimes people are hesitant to do. Did that bother you at all, or did you mind? No, Carl's a great opponent. Um, he's a veteran. He's been in the sport for a while. He's fought some of the best in the world, um, beat some of the best. And I'm excited to test my skills against someone like him. Anything in particular that you're most concerned about or feel could be the biggest challenge to you? Um, no, I'm not, not concerned about anything. The biggest thing that I will say is I'm excited to show what I can do. I'm not too worried or focused on everything that he does. He's a good fighter. He does things well. So you know, so you can't focus on that. I focus on me. Last thing for me, I mean, a big win here. Obviously, it would be a win over a ranked opponent it's early in the year, so you can get some more in. So what's the goals for 2023? How do you see the rest of this year playing out? Uh, the rest of this year playing out. So go and get this win, and then I get to marry my fiance. And then after that, um, we're going to fight again. Uh, right here. Hey, how's it going, Grant? How's your day going? Going well. How about yourself? Uh, doing awesome. Can't complain. Tell me a little bit about Genesis Training Academy. Hey, Genesis Training Academy, it's, uh, it's an awesome gym. The energy there is unbelievable. Um, my teammates are absolutely amazing. And... It's all brought to you by Coach Jacob Ramos, and, and he's the best in the game, been doing it forever, um, legend in the sport, and uh, it's just an honor to be um, included a part of what he's built. And um, man, it just it makes me happy and it makes me smile to even uh, put myself in the, like, the room with someone like him. I mean, he's worked with all the best, and uh, he's been at the top, and. Uh, for me to be one of the guys that he's really uh, chosen to take under his wing, it means the world. And so you're pretty much like the protege, you say, right? Um, I, I, I would love to say I'm a protege, um, which would be, this is awesome to have a sensei like, uh, like Coach Jacob Ramos. So that's, uh, that's a really big honor, and I don't take that lightly. All right, and then that, one other thing, man. Bigger they are, the harder they fall. Tell me why size doesn't matter in MMA. Um, well, I got... I mean, if you uh, love martial arts, which I'm sure all of you in this room do, um, we all know that um, martial arts is exactly that. It's an art form. Um, and when you're painting a picture, if you force the brush in any way and it doesn't go and exude what you want to like, make in a picture and you just force it, it's never going to look good. But the true artist can flow. The true artist can do everything possible to bring you something beautiful. And so it doesn't matter how strong somebody is, doesn't matter how big they are, what they have. It's about expressing themselves in the best art form possible. And that's what I intend to do when I'm in the cage. Speaking about uh, painting a picture and art, uh, how do you envision this fight going down this Saturday? Uh, I envision this fight going down in a way that I can show the world what Grand Neal is capable of. Um, that's it. Uh, Everybody in my gym, everybody in my community, they know what I'm capable of doing. And now it's just, I'm just excited to show everybody. Last one for me. Uh, what do you think about this? Why leave it to the judge if you could finish it in 15 minutes? Hey, I don't think anybody that gets in there at this level is looking to leave it to the judge. Um, this, is a, this is a tough sport. You know, everybody's good. 
So it's not about leaving it to the judge. It's about working for a finish at every moment. Sometimes it doesn't happen. I mean, every, everybody's good. Some people got hard heads, you know. <laughs> Some people just don't tap. But you know what? You go and you go out there and you go and try to finish. And that's the biggest thing that you can do. And that's every fight. I go for the finish. Over here. How you doing, Grant? Doing well. How about yourself? All right. So two-time high school wrestling champion. Are you going to lean into your wrestling going into the fight? I'll, I'll lean whatever gets me the win. You know, I'm a competitor. So um, if, if the wrestling gets me the win, that's where we're going to lean. If the striking is absolutely amazing and feels amazing, I'm, that's where I'm going to lean. So wherever the fight takes me, it's not about whether I impose this or that. It's just imposing my will completely. So if the wrestling works, then we'll use that. If striking works, we'll use that. So without that, uh, that signature knockout in your career, is that what you're looking to, to gain going into the fight? Hey, I'm always looking for a signature knockout. You know, that's never beside me. And, you know, I, I know I got these hands, and I'm going to show people. Thank you. Mr. Grant Neal over here. Uh, with a win here this weekend, you think a uh, potential title shot may be on the line? Do you think this might be a number one contenders match for the light heavyweight championship? Mr. Dylan Rush, what a great, <laughs> great question. Yeah, I believe so. I mean, we both are extreme competitors. Um, I, I believe we're some of the, us too, Carl and I myself are the best in the sport. Um, and the ultimate goal is to compete for that world title. And I think definitely, especially in this weight class, the way it's moving, this, sets, this is, is one of the contender fights in this weight class. And I believe it definitely sets either one of us up for a title shot. It's going to be me. I know you're fully focused on the bout ahead this week, and I don't want you to be too much of a matchmaker, but say they come to you with Yoel Romero. They were going to do Nemkov versus Romero for this weekend. It fell through. Do you feel like it would be an honor to step in the cage with someone like Yoel and all he's accomplished within the sport? Hey, everybody in the top ten in Bellator is an honor to step in the cage with. I mean, you look at that top ten, and name one person that wouldn't be an honor to step in the cage with. That being said, there's only one thing on my mind, and it's going out and beating everybody in front of me. So whatever they put in front of me, whoever it is, all respect aside, I'm going out there to beat them. You had a long layoff before this fight. You mentioned uh, your marriage is coming up, your wedding's coming up, but if all goes well in this one, maybe a quick get in, get out first round, would you like to fight on that card March 31st in Temecula alongside your teammate Archie Colgan, maybe a quick turnaround? Hey, if that is in the cards and my coach wants me to do that, I'm all game. So like the biggest thing for me is I'm a team guy. And so whatever makes sense, whatever makes sense for myself and the team, we're going to do it. You talked a little bit about the room, but Kamaru Usman, Muhammad Usman, Justin Gaethje, you, yourself, of course, Archie Kogan, Rose, Bruno, a bunch of other guys. Do you feel like that's one of the best rooms, if not the best room in the sport? Yeah, I mean, Jake does a really good job in bringing what we need in every one of our camps. I mean, this camp, it was unbelievable. I, I had uh, Mo Usman and um, Alonzo Minifield and Pat Barry really just in there every single day. But then you have guys like Archie and guys like Brandon Gertz that are just in there. Like, we're not the same weight class or anything, but that energy elevates your game and uh, makes an atmosphere so you're ready for anything once you get in the cage. And I mean, it's a beautiful thing. And um, I mean, just competing and uh, being in a room with guys that are champions, have been champions, um, working with the best is uh, something to be said about that. And lastly, what can you tell me about Coach Peter Straub? Is he here with you this weekend, Peter Straub? And yeah. Yeah. yeah, Coach Peter is here with me. He's uh, my jujitsu coach, and I should say jujitsu professor, or else he's going to get mad at me. <laughs> but um, he uh, he's really helped my uh, Brazilian jujitsu game a ton. Um, he's really helped develop me into a really well-rounded fighter, and to show me that hey, like we're not here to win jujitsu world titles. We're here to be anti-jujitsu and beat the shit out of people. So, I mean. There's nothing more that you can want from a coach, you know, and he understands my mentality, um, understands who I am through and through. And uh, to have that in your corner, I mean, who could stop you? 
Appreciate it, man. Good luck. Thank you so much, Dylan. Always a pleasure.